Yo, still bills. What's the Denzel, man? Peep game, man. I gotta make a short video, bro. Oh my god, this nigga just ain't got no shame. It's one thing to be a fan of a nigga, man. It's a completely different ball game to just be salivating at that nigga meat every opportunity you get. This nigga, he knows his sports. Said Manny Pacquiao paid Earl Spence step aside money so he wouldn't have to fight him. <laughs> Despite Earl Spence confirming his uh, 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 uh bring, confirming his doctor's note or whatever that he needed for surgery. Despite all that, Manny Pacquiao paid this man step aside money. That makes no sense. You pay somebody step aside money when I right, cool. Let me get him out the way. Let me get a few more fights to sharpen my tools, and then I come holler at you. That's usually what step aside money is. Usually. Usually, Earl Spence was getting a career high payday and a legacy defining fight. Oh no, a legacy a legacy defining opportunity to fight Manny Pacquiao. There's no amount of step aside money that that man would acquiesce to in this regard because Manny Pac, if he beats Manny Pacquiao, which everybody was expecting him to do, he beats Manny Pacquiao. That may rock and propel him into superstar. Why the fuck would he accept step aside money when he has the lottery ticket? Manny Pacquiao hasn't fought with me. And this and this new stock and this new stock of fighters, he's only fought Keith Thurman and Adrian Broner. Manny Pacquiao is the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory Golden Ticket. And you're telling me. The only reason why the fight isn't happening is because Manny Pacquiao paid Earl Spence step aside money. That's Earl Spence allegedly accepted in order to acquiesce Manny Pacquiao. That is the dumbest, most fanboy shit I've ever heard in my fucking life, my nigga. Like, <laughs> he got hurt in sparring. That's what that is. He got hurt in sparring. Is retina detached during the spawn during you know during them tough spawn rounds. That's what that is. He's not gonna take step aside money in a career defining uh, legacy type fight to accept step aside money. There's some things money can't buy. You don't pass up an opportunity to to fight Manny Pacquiao. Caleb Plant at this time is lucky that he was able to push Canelo off for as long as he's been pushing him off. Because he has something that Canelo wants. Those, opp those opportunities don't come around often. When a colossal sized superstar in the sport is willing to fight you, that's not a fight that everybody gets. They're not gonna fight everybody. They can't fight everybody. They have the target on their back. So everybody wanna get at him. Manny Pacquiao has fought two fighters on under the PPC, the PBC banter. In, you know, with this newer stock of fighters, and he got the golden ticket. Why the fuck would he pass that up, knowing that this is this could possibly be Manny Pacquiao's last fight? You have an opportunity to make history with, you know, your, if you was to fight Manny Pacquiao and beat him, your resume, nobody in the division would have a better resume, would have a more credible win than you. Up until now, nobody. You will be all oh, shit, man. That nigga beat that nigga sent Manny Pacquiao into retirement. What the fuck is wrong with you, my nigga? Like for real, for real. You can't, you you can't fanboy this hard, bro. This shit is sickening and disgusting. This it, this is just. I can't even be mad, you dig? Because it's always some bullshit, some nefarious acts going on within the sport of boxing. It is niggas do sucker shit all the fucking time. They do sucking shit all the fucking time to put themselves in a better position financially. Regardless if it hurts their legacy or not. Earl Spence is not gonna accept 10, he said $10 million. Where are you getting this figure of $10 million from? Where is that coming from? $10 million? I, I, I need receipts on that, that he accepted $10 million from Earl's, uh, from Manny Pacquiao to step aside. So he can fight your Danish Ugas. 
You know how much, how drastic his numbers are about to drop for this pay-per-view because he's not fighting Earl Spence? This cripples both of them. Ugas isn't near, Ugas isn't even a fucking regular TV attraction on the scale of uh, Earl Spence. But he's gonna pay Earl Spence 10 M's to step aside so he can fight somebody that is from a stature stamp a, a, a stature standpoint beneath Earl Spence. That makes zero sense. Zero. Like some people just do not need to be talking about boxing, bro. That, that's that's just the long and short of it, man. Niggas say dumb shit. Just dumb remedial shit. And swear to God, they be knowing what the fuck they talking about. We need receipts on this claim. We need receipts on this claim. Earl Spence is not about to take step aside money to fight a Manny Pacquiao. Uh, so he ain't got. So he's not gonna take step aside money so he cannot fight Manny Pacquiao. This is a career legacy defining fight, bro. And he's gonna take step aside money to get out of the fight. As if Manny's gonna be there next year. As if it's a definite thing. That's dumb as fuck. That is, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. What the fuck is the A side looking like? No. This ain't Miguel Cotto and Gennady Golovkin. What the fuck, my nigga? Like, god damn. Just, and the fact that you have followers and people writing up under your comments I, like it been months before i even went on that channel honestly uh, me go i go on a lot of niggas channels that i disagree with to hear their talking points and their narratives that they continue to push it did some of them expose me to certain truths i will admit that some of them i laugh at a lot of them i laugh at because i'm like y'all y'all are just so off base with what it is you're saying it's 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 ridiculous so it had been months before I've been on this nigga's channel. It had been months. I most I'm not gonna I give them views. I'm not gonna I do. I give niggas views that I don't agree with and that I you know that get on my nerves. I give them views because I want to hear what they talking about. That shit doesn't bother me. So but man, I'm I'm gonna chill on homeboy for a minute. And I just I cause I was like, yo, Earl Spence ain't fighting Manny Pacquiao this weekend. Let's go see what this nigga talking about. And sure enough, Manny Pacquiao allegedly gives Earl Spence $10 million to step aside so he can fight Ugas, even though that would cripple his pockets because nobody outside of the boxing world knows who the fuck your thing is Ugas is. People are far more familiar with Earl Spence than they are with Manny, than, uh, than Ugas. That's a gut punch to Manny Pacquiao, bro. And it's a bigger gut punch to Earl Spence because Manny Pacquiao is talking about retiring after this fight. Y'all niggas need to watch who y'all follow, man. That's just what this boils down to. Y'all really need to be mindful of who it is y'all pay attention to and where y'all get y'all information from, man. Because some niggas just ain't it. Some niggas just ain't it. And he's one of them niggas, man. He's not a dude that should be talking about boxing. He isn't. Not everybody's going to be a diehard of the sport. That's acceptable. You got certain fights you're going to... You got a certain fighters that you're going to watch and pay attention to. That's cool. That's cool. But when it gets just, you know, gets to a point where it's just, it's more so delusion and dick riding than anything than actual facts. Y'all need to just go on ahead and leave that shit alone, man. Cause uh there's there's no truth whatsoever in anything that this nigga is saying as it pertains to Earl Spence and Manny Pacquiao. That would be a egregious mistake on Earl Spence if he took ten million dollars in step aside money instead of fighting a Manny Pacquiao. And like I said, I need to I need definite receipts on those ten million dollars. And while we're at it, I need Earl Spence to go on record saying that yeah, that that note that I gave y'all from the doctor, that validation that I gave y'all that I had eye surgery, yeah, that was falsified information. I lied and had one of the doctors sign off on it so I can get out of this fight. That. Wow. Wow. 
Manny Pacquiao ain't ducked nobody a day in his life. Nobody. Yeah, he ducked Earl Spence. You got me fucked up right now, my nigga. Stop playing with me. Manny ain't never been bitch made like that. Ever. Ever. This nigga's an all-time great, but he gonna duck. Oh, you can't be serious. I gotta go around for real. Wow. Manny ain't never duck no Earl Spence. Ever. In life, as Manny Pacquiao duck Earl Spence, my nigga. Anybody for that matter. Manny Pacquiao paid Earl Spence $10 million in step aside money. So, yo, like, what? Like, how do y'all come up with this shit? How do y'all paint these narratives, my nigga? How do y'all say, ooh, that sounds like, man, that's it, man. That nigga spitting right there. That makes sense. How? How? This man at this point is trying to cash out. All right, cool. I'm about at the end of my career. I can accept that. Let me, uh... Let me give me last one bag. Let me let me get me a nice little bag to ride off into the sunset with. Let me get that. Ah. Let me get that. Let me let me get that. But now I don't want to do it no more. So yeah, just go ahead and take this ten million dollars so I ain't got fuck. Like, how does that that doesn't make sense? I'm I'm really baffled right now that this nigga would say that, and it bothers me. That people subscribe to them and they run off with these goofy narratives. Like, how is that logical? I really want, I, I, I want an explanation of how. How? How does that make sense? For Manny Packard, for Earl Spence. That isn't a logical thing to do in favor of Earl Spence. That cripples him. Ten million dollars. All right, cool. If you beat Manny Pacquiao, that will be a guaranteed purse throughout the rest of your career. You'll make that back in the next fight. If you was to beat him, if you was to dethrone the Manny Pacquiao. Oh shit, I'm tripping. Damn, why'd I do that? See, man, this nigga pissing me off, man. Got me. You beat Manny Pacquiao. That 10 million or whatever that he's allegedly claiming that they 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 they, they gave him. You beat Manny Pacquiao, you get that back in one fight. Fuck out of here, man. Please. All content creators, man, if you do not follow the sport in its totality, please refrain from talking about it, my nigga. Please refrain from talking about it, because the conspiracy theories, it's a time to throw on the tinfoil koofy, and it's a time where, it be, where it's like, nah, that ain't, that ain't it. That, that ain't the time. This ain't the time. Manny Pacquiao paid Earl Spence $10 million in step aside money. When has Manny ever done that? He has no record of him doing that shit. Ducking and running from fades. He has no record of that. As much shit as we talk up here about Bud and Manny's situation, Bo Mack even went on record and said, yeah, we told Bud not to sign the contract. Manny signed. Manny ain't running from no goddamn body. And with Manny's skill set, he's still a live dog in the fight. There's people who are picking Manny to win this fight. But he's gonna run from, man, you got me fucked up. You think entirely too highly of this nigga, man. You really do. You really do. And you can be a fan of somebody and still be objective. Manny is one of my favorite all-time fighters and I did not pick him to beat Earl Spence. I can't. You can't ignore youth. You can't ignore somebody being in the top dog in the division. You can't ignore that. You can't ignore being in your prime. You can't ignore that shit. As much as you want to, you can't. I can still be objective to shit. I was objective in the last video that I did discussing Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford with the whole ducking thing. 
I was objective in that video. Like, what, what the fuck is wrong with y'all, bro? You can be a fan of somebody and still be objective of them in their decision making and all the other shit that they do. That makes you a more thorough fan. You're not too blinded by the bullshit that you're not oh, you're not scared to hold your particular favorite fighter accountable for his mistakes or her mistakes. You dudes got a lot to learn when it comes to this shit, man. Stop talking about boxing. Don't speak on the sport if you're not uh, 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 an appreciator of it, man. Don't say shit about it. Just leave it alone. Leave that shit. Leave that topic. Damn, damn, damn. Leave that topic for the other motherfuckers. You ain't it. That don't even make it's not plausible for either one of them. Manny Pacquiao's trying to cash out. Earl Spencer's trying to take that next step in the superstardom. So he can be on the he beats Manny Pacquiao. That puts him that gets him closer to being on uh, uh, being parallel with a Canelo and an Anthony Joshua. God damn. Can't stand you niggas, man. Stop talking about boxing, man. Peace.